BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alamgir today asked the government to resign immediately. He said BNP's 28th July rally sent a strong message that the people of the country did not want to see the fascist government in power anymore. Fokhru said this as he was addressing a BNP rally at the historic Sorawardi Uddan now to protest the oppression on the party leaders and workers during their Saturday sit-in program at different entrances of Dhaka. The rally formally began around 3 p.m. today with the recitation from the Holy Quran. As part of the party's countrywide program, BNP's Dhaka South and North City units have arranged today's rally. A temporary stage has been set up on four trucks keeping them side by side and around 50 loudspeakers have been installed around the rally venue. The party leaders and activists from different city areas have started thronging the venue since 1 p.m. A huge number of law enforcers have been deployed there to fend off any untoward incident. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday said that her government had no objection to any movement by the opposition parties, but no arson violence would be tolerated. The Prime Minister said this while addressing the award-giving ceremony of Bangabundhu Public Administration Award 2023 in the city's Osmani Memorial Auditorium. Sheikh Hasina said none would be allowed to play ducks and drakes anymore with the fate of the country's people. The Prime Minister asked the admin, officials and employees not to be afraid, seeing a little movement and struggle as long as the people would remain with her government. She said she didn't want to see anyone in gloomy face, rather want to see everyone in happy and smiling faces. <laughs> পিছিয়ে যাবে না সেটাই আমি বলতে পারি কাজেই একটু আন্দোলন সংগ্রাম দেখলে ভয় পাবেন না ভয় পাওয়ার কিছু নেই জনগণ যতক্ষণ আমাদের সাথে আছে যারা আন্দোলন করতে চায় জালাপোড়া করতে চায় জালাপোড়া করাটা তো আমরা সহ্য করব না সেটা কখনোই মেনে নেওয়া যাবে না তবে আন্দোলন বা সংগ্রাম যাই করুক তাতে আমাদের কোনো আপত্তি নেই কিন্তু আমাদের দেশের মানুষের ভাগ্য আর কাউকে আমরা ছিনিমিনি খেলতে দেব না একটা কথা মনে রাখবেন যে আমাদের মহান মুক্তিযুদ্ধে যারা আমাদের সমর্থন করেনি তাদের মনের বৈরিতা কিন্তু এখনো কেটে যায়নি কিন্তু সেটা অতিক্রম করেই কিন্তু আমরা এগিয়ে যাচ্ছি এবং বাংলাদেশ এগিয়ে যাবে এটাই আমি বলতে পারি সেই জন্য মুখ গোমা করে থাকা আমি দেখতে চাই না সবাইকে হাসি খুশি দেখতে চাই যেটুকু মানুষের জীবনে সমস্যা আসে কিন্তু সেটা অতিক্রম করবার মতো মনোবল দরকার হয় শক্তি দরকার হয় সেই শক্তি নিয়ে চললে বাংলাদেশ ইনশাআল্লাহ এগিয়ে যাবে সেটাই আমি বিশ্বাস করি এখন বিকাশেবে পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন the new U.S. visa policy should be effective on the main opposition BNP as they were trying to obstruct election through violence and anarchy. Our Milik General Secretary Obaidul Qadir said on Monday, BNP's recent political programs were nothing but obstruction to the upcoming general election. Qadir also wrote Transport and Bridges Minister said at a press conference at his secretary at office. He further said Awami League doesn't want clashes and won't go on the streets for that. The police will handle the situation and it is their responsibility, he added. <laughs> কারণ এটা পরিষ্কার নির্বাচনকে অবস্থা করা নির্বাচনকে বাধা দেব কাজে ভিসা নীতি যদি কেউ প্রয়োগ করে নির্বাচনকে উপলক্ষ্য করে তাহলে তো এটা তারা তারা পাওয়া উচিত Chief Election Commissioner Kazi Habibul Awal held a closed-door meeting with the Chief Justice Hassan Foyes Siddiqui at the latter's Supreme Court office this afternoon.
Election Commissioner Begum Rashida Sultana and a number of EC Secretariat officials, including Secretary Mohammad Jahangir Alam, were present at the meeting held between 1.30 and 2 p.m. After the meeting, the CEC told reporters that they had taken oath from the Chief Justice. He further said an election commissioner and he had worked in the judiciary for a long period of time. The Chief Justice will go into retirement soon. They don't know whether they can meet him again. That is why they have paid regards and expressed gratitude to him. The CEC did not reply to any further queries from the reporters. Members of the Federation of Bangladesh Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FBCCI, cast their votes to elect a new board of directors for the Apex Trade Body for the 2023-25 tenor. Voting in the biennial election started at 9 a.m. and ended at 4 p.m. without any break at the Bongobundu International Conference Centre in Dhaka. The votes will be counted and the names of the elected candidates are supposed to be announced on Monday evening. Elected directors will elect FBCCI President, Senior Vice President and Sixth Vice President on next August 2nd. Sir, बृहस्पति शुक्र और शनिवार रत आठटा मिनिटे मन रखी फोन रखी एक्स एखन विकास पाबीन देश प्रथम डिजिटल लोन